Hi, Shout Iris here. I'm a choreographer and dancer. And today I'm going to be reacting to Makiko, Summertime. There's not really any context here. I saw that the video was posted five years ago. So what is this solo piece that she's doing? Information would be nice. Strong arms. You can tell it just it's the tiniest little things just seem really simple, but you know when you hold your arms like this for ages, you start to get a bit of a dull ache. Like this is this is all fine and well, but if you're staying like that, it starts to hurt. That's the same kind of tension you have to create in your arms in contemporary dance when you're lifting them. As graceful as it looks, you need the tension you need to create the tension so you get that dull ache um yeah that's already noticeably a really strong position in her arms Love it. Shame about the quality, I was trying to look at her feet there. She's on her toes, she is. See that's you know ballerina shoes, they um their point the, the, the toes are already pointed, so you, you don't you do technically go on your toes, but I don't know if you've ever seen them, but they're they're designed so that it's um a flat surface when you go up on your toes. Sorry, it's just it's just interesting to see. I just wish it was clearer quality. Move that back. I love that illusion of being pulled on a string. And she's not honouring the beat. There's a very timely beat that's just... And she's not always hitting it. Sometimes she's avoiding it as well. I'm going to assume that she choreographed this herself. But yeah, there's... um. There's a nice range of dancing styles, although really subtle, they're in there. I've said this before, but I love choreographers that use layers when you're standing and then suddenly you drop to the floor or vice versa. And you're using all of the height that you can in dance. And the reason that choreographers do this is to recapture the attention of the audience. So you, if you're zoning out, you'll watch again if a dancer suddenly drops to the floor. Or if they've been low for a while and then they suddenly get up, you notice it. It's, it's an attention thing. Um, so I didn't think that she would use layers because she is kind of like center stage solo you kind of when you're made to focus on one person you focus but if it's like an artist it's a group sometimes you don't always have your focus that's why they use different heights that's why they use layers so it's interesting to see her adapt a layer into her choreography Take that
I'm going to say something a bit controversial here. Oh, no. I don't think this is the right song for her. That's my personal opinion. I, I hardly know her. This is the first time I've ever seen her dance. But the way that her body is moving is so emotive. And I just feel like if she had something that was so much more sinister than this song, it would project a lot of emotion. Um, you know, a dance that can really make you feel something to the point of tears. There's a dance, um, Lost in Motion. I think it's Lost in Motion 2. If you type in Lost in Motion 2, um, there should be a ballerina in red dress dancing um, to Leonard Cohen's Avalanche. And that has got to be one of the best contemporary dances I have ever seen in my life. Um, so, yeah, I just think the song matters. She's obviously calculated it if she's picked this herself. She knows what she's doing because she's she's fantastic. Um, but I, I feel like it's the wrong song choice. That's That's my opinion. Wow, she's got really good control of her body. And uh, what was the other thing that I noticed? Um, her hunchback. She's not afraid to arch her back. There's, um, it's it's always really slick in choreography to be like upright and streamlined. Um, but and um, when you bend, you kind of bend like in a straight way. But like the hunchback aspect of it is not always done. It's an especially in contemporary she's doing all of this elegant graceful contemporary dance and then she went hunchback for some of it which was unpredictable um which i already know is her style because you know i've seen baby metal and sakura gorkin but yes okay is there any more of her dancing solo because i would like to see more for me i didn't feel like it was the right song but she was amazing so thank you for that recommendation i'm glad i've seen her now um subscribe if you haven't and i'll see you on the next video have a good evening everyone